Hi guys, welcome to another video for the new year. If you recall, we did a test on the machine here where we compress the handle in this direction. What we're going to do today is tension it in the other direction, simulating what will happen in uh, pulling a big fish or your spear gets jammed up in the reef and you have to pull hard on this from the boat. So we're going to see how strong this zone is. The clip itself is a weak point, but we are going to be testing the swivel mainly because that's much stronger against the bottom screw. We set it up here, quite flexy, so it simulates being in the water. The front end will be attached to a fish, obviously in your imagination. The spear line itself will probably be the weak point. So we're going to test this zone here, both in this area and here. So we're pulling on the swivel. The swivel is normally attached to a long line clip. We want to have maximum load in this zone. Everything zeroed. I'm going to hang the shackle there and start tensioning it. At about 100 kilos, your spear line would have broken. That's way more than anybody could normally pull. You can see the handle is flexing somewhat. I won't take it over 200. That's way more than necessary. I'm going to hold it there. Let me release it off again. Okay, let's tension it back up again. Note how the handle can flex, but not break. It's glass full nylon with the correct webbing and uh, reinforcing internally makes it extremely strong. There we're back over 200. Let me pull it a bit more and see what actually breaks. Now that's extreme. You can see the screw starting to fold on the grip. And there the handle broke off. So, that zone, as you can see, with all the webbing, makes it extremely strong and can break, but you've got to really force it. I hope you enjoyed that. We're going to do another one now of the long line to show you how strong just that zone is. Uh, the swivel itself goes at about 400 kilos plus. Uh, the long line clip on average is about 170, but we're gonna pull this one and see what happens. So here we have our long line clip clipped into a bunch of Dyneema loops. I don't want the line to break, so I'm overloading it there. So all the stress is gonna be on the front. The swivel itself is way stronger than the long line clip. Remember, if you go back to one of our videos, there is a way of putting a piece of rubber over here, which would add even more to it. So let's pull on that and see where it goes. We have done this before and got 170 on average. You can see there at 100, it's starting to flex. 140. If it had the rubber on, it would go a lot greater. But there she's failing just over 170, 180. That is a fail as far as I'm concerned. You can see how it's flexing, but there's 200 kilos, it's still holding. You can look at the swivel too. It's very strong, but that gives you the brake strain of these long line clips. Be aware, these long line clips are freely available, but there's many different variations. We have this one custom made to our spec in terms of how much load you need to put it in. And as you can see in the actual load test itself, plenty good enough. And that's going to be the weak point on 
behind the gun, whereas your line in front of the gun will be a greater weak point than this. You want things to break in front of the gun if they have to break first, so that you at least can retrieve your gun back, saving your gun. Hope you enjoyed that video. Stand by for next week's.